Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. So we got a 2007 F-150 uh, customer plane as a shaking, engine's missing. Um, check engine light is on, so I've got my scanner. It's Thick Scan Plus S7, I think is what it is. I've done a review on this. I'll try to put a link maybe up here where you guys can watch that if you're interested. Um, it's pretty affordable and pretty powerful for what it is. So I've already got the truck started. We're in Texas today. It's heat index supposed to be like 122 we're already at 90 degrees and it's not even 11 o'clock yet so i hit the obd option we're going to see what codes this thing has in it um, it's connecting to the ecm now um, as a little disclaimer i've already done some troubleshooting on this truck 95 percent sure it's got a bad ignition coil so i'm just showing you how I, how i diagnose these um, you could really do it without a scanner but uh Scanner definitely helps. That way you know which cylinder to target because there's like eight of them on this one. So we'll hit the recall fault code and we got the P305 cylinder five misfire detected. You scroll on down and then we got a P P0351 ignition coil A primary secondary circuit and a P0355 coil E. Um, I'm pretty sure I caused one of them because I did disconnect the number one cylinder and the number five. The number one, whenever you unplug it, that cylinder is firing and it will make the engine run different. So that one's good. Number five, however, if I unplug it, no change in the engine. Well, that's the quickest, simplest way to, to diagnose one of these, to figure out if it's a coil or spark plug or whatnot, um, if you have that code in there. If, it's, uh, if, it doesn't make, if it does make a change, you could have a spark plug fouling out, things of that nature, a boot with a short. Um, this one's got a dead cylinder for sure. That coil is not working. But I'm going to take you outside and uh, show you how to do this with a truck running. Save you some money. Um, and this is pretty much universal to any vehicle, really, as long as it's got the, the coil over the spark plug. Uh, individual coils for each cylinder, which most of them do these days. There are some older ones that don't have a... Have the coals all mounted together with wires ran. This is not the case on this one. But uh, all right, guys. So I'm gonna rearrange, go out underneath the hood, and we'll get back with you. Okay, I'm back. You may have a little background noise. I am at the shop. Got my kid in there working. 24 years old. Just started. Wants to learn the trade. So I'm happy to teach him. So like I said, this is a 4.6 liter V8. It's hard to see. I've just got the air filter pulled back. But this is the ignition coil right here. What I'm going to do, there's a clip on the bottom, I'm going to use my thumb, push that up, and just pull this thing off. I don't know if you can see the shake with the engine or not, but it's definitely got it. So I've got it unplugged right now. There wasn't much of a change in the engine. But guys, that's really it. That's pretty simple to, to know once you know what the code is, which cylinder to target, uh, how to determine. So I'm going to get a coil and replace this. But another way that you could do this, if you're unsure uh, if the coal's bad or not, you could always, say, pop another cylinder, the number one, for instance, that's out of the one that's easy to get to. So I'd take that off, take that spark plug out, put it in the number three. Well, actually, I would, I would probably take just the coil off and swap them and see if the code followed the coil. If I, Clear the codes and I hooked it back up and it still had the miss and it shows a misfire on number one. That's definitely a good way to tell you got a bad coil. But just quick, simple, easy, uh, little tutorial how I do this. Most shops going to charge you, uh, I don't know, probably at least a minimum hour of labor to diagnose this. Eh, probably average $125 an hour. So guys, if you want to save some money, I'll try to give you some tips on vehicles. We really don't work on vehicles very much. We're more industrial mechanics. You can see that's actually a transmission we got tore down and parts hanging. My son over there working. Here's the pile of parts that come out of these things. This is our bread and butter. Off highway Allison transmission. But we will work on vehicles when asked to. And uh, that's that. And I did get my Noid lights out just in case it would have been an injector, but I didn't have that code, so I didn't even mess with that. But if you want to save a ton of money and fix it yourself, I highly recommend you watch this video, learn how to diagnose your uh, ignition coil issues. 
then go buy your parts from O'Reilly's or AutoZone. It doesn't matter, each one. They probably give you a lifetime warranty. Maybe not, since it's electrical, I'm not real sure. I'm expecting the part to be 40, 50 bucks at most. Um, the labor and mark, parts markup. That's where these uh, jobs get you. Thanks for stopping by, guys. And I appreciate you watching.